Welcome to Warrington Filming, Paint and Decorating, Trade Secrets, the most popular channel on YouTube today. <laughs> and today we're going to do a full video on um, undercoating and glossing a plastic door. Okay, as you can see, I started off by masking the, uh, the letterbox, the drip strip at the bottom and the door handle. Okay, I've also I've also gave it a light rub down just to form a little bit of a key and I'm going to start by undercoating this in a grey uh, etching primer. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, undercoat and gloss it. Right, so first thing we're going to do is start by undercoating this back edge. Basically when you when you paint a door you paint what you can see, okay? So what you can see is that back edge <laughs> and the front. What's the next one? Back edge and the front of the door, and then we'll just cut into this edge here, okay? Because you won't pa paint round the side because that, that comes in with the internal side of the door, okay? So I've got my, uh, my primer here, primer undercoat here, oil-based. Uh, so let's get started. Okay. Now bear in mind if it's a hot day like it is today, the undercoat will go off quite quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to like cut this in, paint this, come down the sides, and then go down the bottom. What about the uh, edge? Oh yeah, better do the edge first. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's that's do the edge first. Cause what about the hinge? We have uh, we've had the spec and it did point out to us that we've got to paint this uh, face of this door in here. Normally you would you would cut that in. Whew. About ready for a cup of tea, aren't you? I am. It's all work it is. I'd just like to say Special thank you to my um, cameraman for today, Sam. It's quite all right, Wellington. I'd just like, also like to say, if anybody's got any comments that are negative, don't bother leaving them. <laughs> when you're doing this uh, back edge, you've got to be quite careful. Don't go right up to the very edge to the point where it's going to creep round the in, creep onto the inside of the door. Anyway, that's that edge undercoated. Now and here's one I did earlier. You got a masking tape Paul? No, no, I just mean from round there. Right. The actual finish of this door is going to be in a bit like a bluish colour. I think it's fairly dark blue, so that's why we're using this grey primer. Is that the Godfather standing next to me? It is the Godfather. Well, I've no swearing in my uh, videos, if you don't mind. Just chuck me watching. <laughs> they put me on me and Sam. 
and his last fucking feet. <laughs> Time, yeah? Ten minutes, mate. Really? I don't mind. Oh, that's good. Look like it grew there. Like Don't get too close. <laughs> Do you want to demonstrate the uh, bristles when they're cutting in? No. I'd just like to uh, point out that, like, like I say, this is a, a plastic door, but, uh, you know, if you've got any sense about you and you're having a new front door fitted and you want to, you're thinking of painting it at a later stage, it might pay you to get a pre-finished one that's in colour. Hey, son. Yes, less maintenance. Yeah, because, I mean, realistically, who wants to be painting a plastic door? Nobody. But fortunately we're getting paid for it. That's right. So I've done the top, I've done down the sides, done the edge. I'm just sort of like, I've got to make sure I keep a, a wet edge going, you see? Because it's quite, it's quite hot today, so. You've got like, Paint the door so you're keeping a wet edge. Otherwise you're gonna see a bit of an imperfection on the finish. <coughs> so I've done that, I'm gonna do these insert bits here. It's a good job there's no carpet down. It is, isn't it, really? Hey. Yes, obviously, I, must, obviously. I, I must stress, if you're doing this for Mrs. Jones in a private plot, uh, you might want to put a, a, dust a, sheet down. A, a dust sheet under the door and the surrounding area. This one's on a it's on a new property and uh, there's no carpets down so we're lucky. So when you actually paint undercoating or glossing this door, what you've just got to make sure that you, you keep this section, make sure it doesn't dry. Luckily we're in, we're in the shade of it here, so. 
it's not so bad. As you can see I've now finished undercoating the front door. Uh, all you need to do then is uh, just check around the mouldings etc for uh, runs in the undercoat and uh, we'll get back to this and uh, show you it being glossed up in uh, blue. Right, welcome back. I'm now uh, at the stage where I'm going to gloss this door in uh, uh, Oxford blue. Um, like I say, you've got to uh, prep the door, give it a coat of um, etching primer or some, some form of primer uh, that bonds to plastic doors, okay? Then what I've done now as well is I've undercoated the door as well. So like etching primer, then undercoat, then a gloss finish, okay? Um, when, when you get a tin of gloss, uh, nine times out of ten it's quite thick to work with, so you'll need, uh, as we call it in the trade, some Oriel. <laughs> okay, Oriel. Go down to any, any decorating store and ask for uh, a bottle of Oriel. Okay? Or some people might know it as Turbs or White Spirit. So you'll just need a little drop of that uh, Oriel in your gloss just to make it easier to work with, okay? And because it's a front door, uh, you are going to need to leave this open um, virtually all day. Otherwise it's going to catch on the rubbers and uh, damage the face of the gloss. So the uh, next best thing to do with your gloss is just get some, um, some dryers, liquid dryers. Okay, You need about a cap full of this to uh, uh, whatever gloss you're working with. Uh, that speeds up the drying process and makes it go hard quite uh, a lot quicker. So a little bit of uh, oil and a little bit of dryers goes a long way when you're doing the front door. Okay. So as you can see, I've lost this back edge to uh, cut down on video time because uh, you only get so long on YouTube to uh, video things. Right. And as you probably know, you'll need a kettle, a good glossing brush. Okay. This one I've used in the uh, primer at undercoat and, and the gloss. So I'm going to get this gloss now. So if you just pay attention on the actual brush work and uh, how we'll go about it. So I'm just going to start at the top now and uh, cut this in. Like I say, a bit of dryers, a bit of oil up in your paint, and you're away. Keep your eye on the sauce, are you? <laughs> I'm actually getting paid to. Uh, paint this door while I'm videoing it uh, to all my, for all my subscribers and any newcomers so we have got to keep our eye out for the site agent. <laughs> Try and do it at a reasonable speed so you keep a wet edge all the time. Easier said than done, obviously. So you will need a decent, uh, decent glossy brush for cutting in. I have got a video on YouTube about how to shape your brush. Okay. There's also another video on YouTube of mine which you uh, might find interesting. It's called um, Watching Paint. Um, starting to be quite a popular video. 
on YouTube now. Same with uh, glossing any anything. Just remember your up and down motion. Follow the grain of wood. Oh no, this is plastic, isn't it? <laughs> Follow the grain in the plastic. Clean into it now. Probably want to clean this door. Don't be put off by the speed that I'm doing this, uh, this door in. That comes with experience. How are we pulling it on? I'm alright, thank you Marcus. Just picking up a few tips. Right. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll just put one of your doors right. So I'll yeah, it <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so fine. Have you had the one about the balloon family? The what? The balloon family. Balloon? Balloon? No. Mummy bear, mummy balloon, daddy balloon, and the baby balloon. Yeah. And um, baby balloon's about one year old now. And his, <laughs> his, his mother says, <laughs> I think, Johnny, it's about time you slept in your own bed. <laughs> and the baby balloon says, oh, don't have to, Mum. I've always, I've always slept in your bed. You know, it's time to sleep in your own bed. So, he put me in his own little bed one night. squeeze down in between them. Anyway, <laughs> in the morning, mummy bear, uh, mummy balloon wake, wakes up. Uh, says to her husband, he says, look what's happened. He says, look, Johnny slept with her at night again. He says, well, I've learned when we get down, so. Anyway, they got, they got, they got, they had the breakfast, and the mummy bear says to the Johnny, the little boy, he says, very disappointed in you, Johnny. Why is that mummy? He says, well, first of all, you let yourself down, and now you let both of us down. <laughs> 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 
There you go, all you YouTubers. That's glossing the front door, combined with a joke from The Godfather. It's the first on YouTube, so there you go. That was a, a nice, funny, clean joke. You'll never ever witness that again in your life. You won't, will you? Are they painting the door and free joke thrown in? Free joke thrown in. They look bloated. <laughs> <laughs> You're inspirational, Marcus. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. And your feet. We'll edit that bit. Right, so that's the door glossed. Just check over for runs. Yours truly, Wallington Filming, with jokes thrown in as well. And uh, don't forget to uh, get yourself some liquid dryers, speed up the drying process on the front door, quite essential that. And uh, as comes recommended by the Godfather, some uh, Oriel. Okay? <laughs> so that's uh, Wallington Filming, paint and decorating, trade secrets. Thanks to all my subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe yourself. Thumbs up and comments most welcome. Until next time, catch you later.